Hey, what's up guys? Jay Wink here. So yes, Gotham. New episode tonight. Um Well, I guess you're here because you want to hear my thoughts about the episode called The Red Hood. Now yes, Gotham the Red Hood. The episode The Red Hood. Um had some good parts to it, had some bad parts to it, and just, you know, it was an overall an oak it was a good episode. It's not great like how the past, like how the last episode was, in my opinion, but it was, it was, it was, a, it was, a, it was up there with it. You know, it may not be, it may not be in my top five episode. Well, maybe my top five, but definitely not in my top three. So yes, we're gonna start off with my top five moments, like usual. So yes, here we go. Number five is is that Fish Mooney takes out her eye. Now, some things that I did have some problems with that I want to bring in is, like, um, some things... Sorry, guys, that freaking door's got issues. So, yes, back to the episode. Some things I do have some negatives about is I didn't really like the whole Barbara, Selena, Ivy thing. It just, you know, kind of just fell flat. They, you know, they were kind of going for something and then poof, it just kind of didn't work for me. And also, another thing was the Fish Mooney stuff. I've been really interested in what's kind of been happening with Fish Mooney and everything. But now, you know, now it's just kind of boring now. Because now it's just like, oh, okay, so now we're just practically just killing time until this doctor comes back to talk to her. So, yeah, I just got, you know, and the, but, but the thing that was really interesting was when she took out her eye. Now, that freaked me out, and I thought, oh, my God, this is definitely going to be a negative. But I thought, you know what? Let's actually put it on there as a number five. Because it was the best part of that arc, I'd have to say. Of that kind of arc, of that her story in the episode. Blech. Man, that was... I, I can handle that sort of thing, but sometimes when it goes a little bit too far, I kind of get freaked out a bit. <laughs> so, yes. Number four is the Penguin and Butch relationship. Now, I do like this kind of relationship that these two are kind of growing now. And kind of, you know, how they're talking about, you know, how they got to get this club back up and going. How um, Butch thinks Mooney deserves what she got coming to her. You know, he deser he thinks she deserves what he got, what she got. You know, and now he's kind of full on on Penguin's side. And I really do like that, kind of that switching gears. You know, and seeing that Zaz really got in his head, you know, and now he's for the Penguin. And I really do like that because it's very interesting. So, yeah. And I just love that whole... It was very, you know... um, It's just kind of like... it's kind. Of, I'd say, in my opinion, kind of it's like another Jim Gordon and um, Harvey Bullock, except kind of less underwhelming. But I do think Butch is this, you know, is... Is being coming a strong character. I do like his character now because, especially now when I saw him in this episode, he did a really good job, and it was you know it was really good. And I thought it was, he did it well, the actor. And so yes, that you know it was kind of, you know, kind of main thing about the episode. You know, and then they finally got the club up a little bit, up and going. Penguin got another stand-up comedian. Didn't work out too well. So then Penguin had to go get some alcohol. So yeah. So yes, number three out of my top five moments is the Bruce, Reggie, and Alfred Bond. Now, Reggie is an old friend of Alfred's. And kind of what happens is Reggie kind of ends up on Bruce Wayne's doorstep and is like, Alfred, I need your help. You know, and, you know, he kind of bonds with Alfred a little bit because they were old war buddies. And then he starts, he kind of goes over some training with um Bruce there for a brief period of time and I did like that scene and it was really good and then the end supper table scene went together when they were all just having supper together and then when Alfred sends Bruce away before he can really before when Reggie can give any real details about his past you know being in the war you know it was really interesting to see he doesn't he doesn't want um he doesn't want Bruce to know all the bad stuff he did in the past. He wants him to just focus on all the good stuff that he's doing now to make up for it, I feel, in my opinion. So, yeah. And I really did like that scene where 
Reggie's just like, come on, hit me harder, hit me harder, hit me harder. You know, kind of shows that Bruce is going to have to, you know, and how he's, you know, how Reggie said, even if your opponent is bigger than you, use other elements to bring him down. And that, I'm pretty sure, you know, Bruce is going to use that in the future, which he does. And I think it's just going to be very interesting. And I'm going to really love to see, you know, what's going to happen next after this all, after... Bruce kind of figures out this whole secret, you know, everything. So, yes, number two out of my top five moments is the Red Hood attacks. I really did like these Red Hood attacks. They were very funny, you know. They had good comedic elements, especially that first one. And then the second one was kind of, you know, I liked it. And then the third one, right at the end, kind of when it was just like, okay, you know, they got ratted out that, you know what, who cares? Just go out fighting. I really did like that. First one I thought was hilarious. I really loved that. It was just comedy. I wish they would have kept that other guy on who actually had the red hood on. You know, he kind of, in my opinion, kind of looked, kind of started out to be a young Joker, in my opinion. I can kind of see that, you know, kind of his evolution, you know, because he had kind of had a little laugh, but, you know, I'm pretty sure he didn't snap. But, you know, just kind of as a persona, as the red hood, he didn't need to become like the full on Joker Joker, but he could have been the red hood. You know, sort of thing like that. You know, and it was kind of okay. I kind of did like that. And, you know, I thought they did a good job with that. So, yes, honorable mentions. I only have one this week, and that is the end credit scene. Kind of, I like the preview for next week's episode. And then, main, but the main point is when the kid picks up the Red Hood mask, picks it up, and just like, boom, you know, when he shoots that car. Who could that kid be? I don't know. What could, you know, what could this actually lead to now? Who knows? But, yes, my number one on my top five moments is Alfred is stabbed by Reggie, and he re and Reggie is revealed to be working for the Wayne board that is corrupt. So, yes, they got, they actually got to one of Alfred's old colleagues to actually go and get this done. To get secrets ever since Bruce Wayne has just been like, you know what? I want to investigate this stuff. You guys don't seem like you're being uh, entirely trustworthy. So I want to really get into this and see what's going on here. And Reggie is just like, all right, I got an idea. You know, well, he's tired. He's like, all right, I got to stab you. I'm sorry, bud. He just stabs him. And it was just. And he's like, he said he only had a few weeks to live. And I'm like, what? What's going to happen now in the future? Is Alfred going to die? I hope not. I'm pretty sure that if they kill Alfred off, they're going to get a lot of hate for that. That's all I'm saying. So, yes. Really did like that. It was really dramatic, especially when Bruce came in and saw him just lying on the floor. <coughs> and it was just magical. And when Gordon came in, you know, it was good. I liked this whole scene. The ending scene was great. They did it well. And I'm really looking forward to next week. So, yes. Um, uh, this episode, uh, I'm gonna give it, uh, four, four, 4.25. Yeah, no, I'll give it a four. Sorry, a four. I'm gonna give you a four out of five wings. So, yes, that is my rating system now. I know I'm changing that from how I am. So, yeah, I'm just going in my own direction. So, yes, guys, that is Gotham episode, The Red Hood. I will see you guys in a bit for Star Wars Rebels, Rebels Resolve. Jay Wink is winking out here.